Have you ever seen a bear, a real live bear? Have you ever seen a little cub, a baby bear? Hi kids, this is Auntie Myla. I'm so glad you came by, and I'm glad I'm telling you a story. Well, let me see. I guess I'm not telling the story today. I have asked my friend, my really good friend Jackie, to tell a story because she has an amazing story about a baby bear. And you know, the Bible talks about bears. Did you know that? In Isaiah 11:7. It says, the cow will graze near the bear. The cub and the calf will lie down together. Is that on this earth? No, that's in the earth made new in heaven. We're going to have baby cubs we can play with. Baby deer, little baby deer, the calves. They all will play together and there will be no tension. The bear won't try and grab a little calf and eat it. No, not in heaven. It's going to be such a fun place. I have asked my friend Jackie, Auntie Jackie, to tell a story because this happened to her. Okay? Thank you, Jackie, so much for coming and telling the kids this story. I know they'll love it. I bet each of you have a favorite pet, maybe a cat or a dog. I have pets, too, that I really like growing up, but there's one special pet I want to tell you about today. And his name was Gorky. Isn't that a funny name? My dad was a timber faller, and he worked with my uncle, and the two of them worked on a unit. Now, a unit is a whole bunch of trees, but they were there to cut them down so people could build houses, and there was paper to write on when you went to school, and that's what he did for work. So he and Uncle Rod were on this unit, and they heard a funny noise. Before they started their chainsaws or got their equipment out or anything, they heard a funny noise and they said, what is that? And they walked a little ways toward the noise and here were two tiny bear cubs. And they looked around and said, oh no, mama bear's coming. Let's move to a new unit. So they hurried away, picked up all their gear and went to a completely different unit to work that day. And they worked on that unit and worked on that unit for a couple days. And then they said, well, we're about done here. Should we go back to the first unit? Okay, maybe we should. Let's go check on those baby cubs. I wonder if Mama Bear came. But when they got there, the two cubs were still there. Mama Bear had not come. What are we going to do? We can't just leave them here. My daddy said they're about the size of a mouse. They were little. So he picked one up and put it in his lunch can, and Uncle Rod picked one up and put it in his lunch can, and they brought them home, and they were so little. He said to me, Jackie, do you have a doll bottle? You have a baby doll that you play with, and it has a little bottle. Maybe we could use that. And that worked because a regular baby bottle was too big. So we used the little baby bottle, and Gorky loved it. And he drank all that, and we had to fill it again and again, and he started to grow. And Gorky loved being in our house. We fed him all the time. Pretty soon he was using a regular baby bottle. And he was so starved when he was little that he couldn't get enough. So he would drink the baby bottle all gone and he wanted more and you'd have to take it away. And he said, he scratched and he would even try to bite you. No, Gorky, we got to fill it up again. And they'd fill it up and bring it back and he'd drink it and drink it. And he kept growing and growing. And he loved to be outside and play with us kids. And when dad was working on his pickup and had the hood up, here come Gorky up through the engine and swatted him. He was playing and he loved it and dad had pat him down, and he would climb up the car, up the antenna, and break the antenna off, scratch the car all the way down. Uh-oh, Gorky was in trouble again, but he kept growing, kept feeding him, 
And he got so he could stand up on his hind legs and open the door to the house. He would just stand up, put his hands by the, on the knob and twist and push the door open and in he would come. So he had full reign of the house. And when he got tired of playing with us, he would run up into his cave. And his cave was under my brother's bed. And if we wanted to go up there and try to get him out, come play, come play. He would scratch at you. And then you say, oh, no, we'll just leave Gorky alone because it would hurt to get scratched. So mom had a big yard full of fruit trees. And she had worked so hard on that fruit trees. And there was apple trees and plum trees and different kinds of trees. And Gorky would crawl up in the tree, and then he would try to get the fruit clear out on the edge of the tree. And he'd climb out there and break the branch, and boom, he would fall to the ground. Mom was worried he'd hurt himself. But no, he would just lay there, and he would eat all the fruit off the branch till it was all gone. And he loved people. And when we would go in the car to town, he would get so lonely that he would run to the neighbor's house. But the neighbor lady, she was afraid of him. And he would run after her, and she would run around trying to get away. And he just wanted to be there and play with her because he was lonesome at home. And then sometimes we would get in the boat and go across the river to a grocery store. And he did not like to be left at home. So he would sit on the dock when we were in the boat, and he would paw, 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 paw until finally you'd turn around or one day he said I'm not even going to ask you to come back he just jumped in the water and swam over the river to the grocery store and then someone would have to sit in the boat while someone else went to the grocery store and got everything that they needed but he just kept growing and one day there was a parade in a town not too far away and so we decided to take him to the parade and my mom made my brother a uh, Davy Crockett outfit and a coonskin cap with a tail and my brother put Gorky in the wagon and it fit, he fit just right and so dad put a cage and he took him through the parade and everyone was so surprised to see a pet bear in the parade but I think Gorky enjoyed it just as much as my brother did but as he got bigger and bigger dad finally says you know he's just getting too strong for us there's a carnival coming to town. Maybe we should take him to the carnival and see if they wanted him because he was tame. My brother and I were so sad. We didn't want Gorky to go away, but we understood he was getting big. And the lady at the carnival was so happy to see Gorky, even though my brother and I cried all the way home. But you know, one day when we get to heaven, we can have a pet that will never have to go away. We can keep them and play with them. They will never get hurt and they'll never die. I am so looking forward to heaven. How about you? Thank you so much, Auntie Jackie. That was such a sweet story. A baby bear for a pet? Oh, that would be so much fun. I bet they're really woolly and soft, huh? I want to thank Jesus for that story. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for that story. Thank you that Auntie Jackie came and told it. And dear Lord, it just makes us homesick for heaven. We love you for Jesus' sake. Amen. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye and tune in again. Okay? Bye!